So which are the best stock music libraries to start uploading your music tracks? This is probably a question without an answer because all libraries are different. All stock music sites are different for everybody. I know composers who are doing very well on, on certain libraries and others that are doing very badly. And I can speak from my own experience. Uh, I'm here with my daughter Melina, so today is one of those vlogs. I have her uh, having a sandwich for now. She's been eating quite a lot. Time to eat. Time to eat for daddy. No? So one of the, the biggest stock music libraries here will be Pond5 and Audio Jungle, uh, to name a few. Now, I'm not going to confuse libraries like uh, Music Beds. We cannot compare a, a, a library like Music Beds with Audio Jungle because they're very different, so we can't really compare them. That's just as an example. So I'm talking about just uh, strictly uh, stock music libraries like Audio Jungle, Pond5, Production Tracks, and the likes. Lockstock, for example. So for everybody, it's different, you know. Uh, when I started off, and actually I'm doing this video vlog very quickly because I found an, a list of the stock libraries that I had that I made back in the day, and I just wanted to share that with you because in that small list, I had uh, uh, like five of them. I believe, and Audio Jungle was not in that list. It didn't make it to that list for some reason. So when I'm talking about Audio Jungle and Pond5 being one of the biggest stock music libraries, I'm talking about the fact that these two websites, these two libraries have a lot of eyeballs, have a lot of traffic, and, and yes, it has a lot of composers as well, but there are other libraries where are, which are a little bit smaller or they have not that many composers and they don't have that many uh, customers either, but you can start doing very well. So, uh, I mean, I was having this conversation with my friend uh, Frank. He has, uh, he's a composer and he has a YouTube channel. I will leave the link below as well. I was talking to him a few days ago. He's a fantastic composer. He composes mainly orchestral, uh, cinematic, uh, kind of like dark, uh, hunting, uh, horror kind of like uh, music uh, cues and uh, very dark, uh, scary kind of themes. Check out his music, it's amazing. So we were having these conversations about certain libraries and I said to him, you know, I'm not uploading to music libraries that they don't uh, make any sales. So tip number one will be to actually upload the same music track to different libraries. And that way you can test which libraries are performing for you based on the songs or the music that you have uploaded to uh, all these different libraries. Now you can start seeing that you might have some results on one and another ones is completely dead, you know. So I try to focus my energy in actually uploading to the ones that are actually giving me sales and try to ignore the other ones, okay? Okay, guys, so thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, just a very quick entry vlog to just let you know that there's no such a thing as the the best music libraries out there. There are libraries that have more traffic than other, but that's about it. That doesn't mean that you're gonna be doing very well on those ones, okay? I know people that are doing very well on Pond5 and they're not doing so well on Audio Jungle and vice versa, okay? And these composers, uh, they're on both platforms like, like I am and uh, multiple platforms to be quite honest. So the best thing to do and the message is to never rely on a single library, ever. Even if you do this on the side, you know, because it's nothing more frustrating to have music out there that is not selling. And uh, I don't like to waste my time uploading music to sites that don't make me any sales. So like I was talking to my friend Frank a few days ago, I just stopped uploading to certain sites because it, it is pointless, you know. And I don't want to name any because uh, those sites could be very, could, could be doing good for you. And you have to test it for yourself. And then be the judge if you're going to start keep uploading uh, music, if you're going to keep uploading music. But at this moment, because my time is so limited, I only upload to the ones that are actually giving me sales and completely ignore the ones that are not giving me sales. So out of uh, maybe 20 libraries that I'm involved with, maybe three or four are the ones that are really giving me sales. And the other ones that just give me one sale here and there, and it's just like a small drip, 
I don't complain, but I'm not going to spend too much time uh, feeding that account. So anyways, guys, hope you guys are doing well. Thanks a lot for following me. Thanks a lot for all the love and support, for all the comments. If you are new to this channel and you are looking to start making stock music and start making some cash on the side with your music and you're new to stock music, I have uh, done a PDF downloadable guide for you. Link in the description and you can just... Go through the guys. It's just seven simple steps for you to get the ball rolling and to start selling music on uh, different uh, stock libraries. And I have a list there in the free in the guide that you can actually join those libraries if you want to. Those are the ones that I'm involved with, anyways. And uh, yeah, man, it's just my gift to you for just uh, watching my channel and and you know just want to help and reach out as many composers as possible so they can start monetizing with their own compositions, man. Okay. Uh, me and my friends, we do this and we do them, uh, with the, we've been doing this for some time now and you know, it, it's just a, a big community of composers selling music on stock libraries and it's always nice to, to meet you guys through my YouTube channel, through emails and through messages and you know, I just want to spread the word. So anyways, man, again, thanks a lot for all the love and support. As always, rock and roll and see you on another video.